Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Hate. This time I'm doing another game show game because, well, let's face it, from the NES era there's a lot of gold to mine in that area. This one is Hollywood Squares, audio-visual developed by Rare and published by Game Tech, who actually I've harped on a lot in a lot of my videos. They produce pretty much, let's say about 30% of all the shitty games on the NES and there's a lot of shitty games on the NES, so that gives them a lot of credit. So let's press the button to start and you might be, uh thinking to yourself, if you watch the Let's Say Double Dare video, wow, this looks pretty similar. In fact, it looks pretty much the goddamn same. So we'll select one contestant, and then we have this character select screen. Oh, I don't want to be the girl! You fool! Uh, you have the character select screen where you, uh, can say, do you, would you like a new character? Yes or no? And unfortunately, I'm mentally retarded, so I went with no. Which is unfortunate, because there's a wealth of characters to show off here. Let's put in my name uh, as something that no woman would ever be named, just to spite the game for this absurd user interface they've given me. So it'll be Jeff against Rob, Jeff the pre-op transsexual. Now the main problem with Hollywood Squares is that the only reason anyone would ever watch the show is to see celebrities make shitty jokes. But for this, they have no celebrities. So really, what's the fucking point? Uh, you'll see here. Let's take Eddie. I'm not sure who this is supposed to be. Maybe this is clean-cut Eddie Vedder. We're all familiar with the story of Robinson Crusoe, who was shipwrecked and stranded on a desert island. Did he ever get back to England? Well, I guess apparently we aren't all that familiar with it. And then they'll ask this question, and then the celebrity will crack a shitty joke. Yeah, but his wife had rented out his room. <laughs> oh, good one, Eddie. Uh, Eddie says no, and then I can agree or disagree. I'm actually ashamed to admit that I've never read Robinson Crusoe, but I'm going to disagree, which makes me correct. So if you're not familiar with Hollywood Squares, that gives me an X on the board now, and my goal is to basically make a line as if it's tic-tac-toe. And now we watch the computer do it. According to experts, in what decade did the automobile become the chief means of passenger transportation of the United States? About a week after the pothole was invented. Oh, <laughs> classic. This game is classic top to bottom. The great thing is that Hollywood Square sucks even on TV, and the only way I could possibly think of to make it worse, apart from having Whoopi Goldberg do full frontal nudity every episode, is to basically make it without the celebrities. What the fuck is wrong with Dean here? Just got done with a 40-hour coke binge at Studio 54. What's wrong with your face, buddy? Alright, it's for the win. Can you teach a pig to fetch? And you hear that sound? That means uh, it's punishing you for reading too quickly, because you actually cannot buzz in or make the question get off the screen faster. Uh, I agree. There you go, I've won the game. But now we'll move on, because I think you have to win something like three rounds or get like a thousand dollars before anyone, before you get onto the next round. And there's a secret square for an amazing virtual prize. You know, it's lame, I, I'm playing all these game show games. Uh, the reason is not necessarily that I hated game show games as a kid, it's that I really fucking love them, and I love watching Game Show Network all the time. Anyway. According to Psychology Today, just by carrying this with you when you go out to buy a car, you can save up to $200. Sorry, I can't read. What is it? Your wits. That's that's not even funny. That's just a religious medal? Yeah, why would you ever agree with that? A religious medal? With, like, Jesus in him? Uh, who should we go with? Let's go with May, the girl with the big tatas. No, we'll go with Daz, a name that no one has ever had. Oh, yeah! I got the secret square to win a skiing vacation in the French Alps. Maybe I'll play Ski Free after this. Let's love Ski Free. What is happening when Arabs are said to be basking in each other's breath? I can't wait to hear the joke behind this one. They're sharing a mouthwash. Daz! Always oh, clever like that. Sharing but kissing? Why not? Let's go with the Greek. Ah, conversing! God damn it. Should have known. Anyway, this is a, a, a comedy of errors when it comes to Hollywood Squares. The funny thing about Hollywood Squares is actually what happens... Uh, well, I guess it's all been funny so far, but it's what happens after you get past this stage. Similar to Double Dare. It's got a really anticlimactic kind of final stage. In what Walt Disney movie was there a thumper? Dirty Harry? <laughs> Joe. Always. Rob, have you never seen a Disney movie in your entire life? It's obviously Bambi. I guess we'll go with Dean for the win again. He hasn't let me down so far. He just needs to go see a fucking doctor. It's like... Looks like Charlie Sheen mixed with Bobcat Goldthwait. Why doesn't a hippopotamus get water up his nose when he's underwater? Haha, <laughs> good one. Uh, that's why he was on the match game. They only exhale under the water. 
Why not? Ah, god damn it. That's what I got. Four years of training in biology, and this is what happened. Now he's gonna go with Beth, Betty White for the win. True or false, for most people, one foot is larger than the other. Uh, what's she gonna say? Let's try to predict her joke. Oh, yeah, my largest foot is the one I stick in my mouth. <laughs> I, <d> <laughs> I swear to God, this is live commentary. Of course that's true. It's, uh, that, that could be a fun drinking game. I'm pretty sure uh, you can predict almost every joke in this entire game. So now Jeff gets to start the next round. Who's he gonna pick? Probably Eddie. Oh, I'm Jeff, I forgot. Yeah, definitely Eddie then. According to the American Psychiatric Association, do most therapists think it is okay to have a romantic relationship with someone who is no longer a patient? Only if they're cured and their bills paid. <laughs> On the spot. I think it's okay. Yes! Oh, wait. I agreed with him. I meant to disagree with him. But whatever. I'll take it. Of course, Joe, Dean, and Eddie locking it down here with their responses. According to the World Book, why did the ancient Egyptians bury their dolls? Because they all cried mummy! Oh, man. Uh, anecdotally, it's pretty funny. To play house with, of course that's fucking false. Uh, there's a new Hollywood Squares game that actually has celebrities from the same guys who brought you Grey's Anatomy on the PC, Price is Right on the PC, The Family Feud on the PC, and I'm really excited to play that in the near future. According to Red Book, is it better for you to take quick, warm showers or long, hot showers? Ah, Daz, the playboy. Long, hot showers. Probably quick, warm showers. Yeah. But, you know, Red Book, always with the hard-hitting biological journalism. That's where I get my medical advice. Okay, hopefully they get this one wrong so I get a chance to win and we can move on. Recent Roper poll asked people to name the one thing they just hate to be without around the house. What was the number one answer? A man. Ooh. Jesus. No wonder nobody picks you. Oh, of course, the number one answer was cellophane tape. I, I hate when I don't have any of that around the house. So let's go back and pick Mike, the, the king of inappropriate responses. According to the Chicago Tribune, will mothballs sometimes keep gophers out of your yard? Cool, man. No, uh, I disagree. Perfect. I, hopefully that means I fucking won now. My patience is running low. Yeah, Jeff wins and goes for the car. Excellent. So here's the, the climactic final game here. What key should we take? Let's take, take key two. And then we choose a car. Oh, that one looks good. That one looks good. Test it for California emissions. Where's the Mario Kart? Uh, that, that, why would anyone ever pick that car? It looks like a piece of crap. And the car keeps changing in the picture. Whatever, let's go with this one. Now turn that key! Oh my god, it actually worked! That's the first time I've won. But um, this that's the game right there. You pick a key, and then you maybe win a car. So this has been Hollywood Squares. Uh, I just set the second highest score that the game has ever seen. Way better than CTJ CTJS. That guy got a really hit with the poor name stick as a kid. But anyway... Actually, you know what? Before we leave, I want to show off the other character. Let's see him. Yeah, this guy right here. This looks like the I like turtles kid, finally grown up. Anyway, this has been Let's Hate Hollywood Squares, and with good reason. As always, place your suggestions for games to Let's Hate in the comments, and I'll take a look at them, and maybe do Let's Hates of the ones I deem appropriate. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.